Hi everyone, my name is Talia and I'll be talking about the Chimera Ant arc episode 91 till episode 110 and after that will be a live reaction of episode 111 and then I'll do my other part of the Chimera Ant arc review and other live reactions and all that stuff. But now I just want to talk about these episodes and there has been quite some development for some characters and some new characters that we got to know and some teamwork and some awesome battles and... I enjoy the hell out of it, like usual, although I'm sad that some characters are not in the Chimera Antarch, like Kurapika and Hisoka and all that. We did get to see the Phantom Troop for just like two episodes in, you know, this arc. So I'm glad that we got to see them for a little bit and we actually got some development for those characters as well. And we got to know more about their powers and all that, so that was really interesting and probably one of my favorite parts of the Chimera Ant arc because I just like the Phantom Troop so much and from what I've heard we're not gonna see them back so it's quite sad to say goodbye to them and yeah I just kind of miss them I really like the York New City arc I think for now it's still my favorite it can still change with how the Chimera Ant arc is going right now but for now it's still York New because there were a lot more characters in there, like my favorites, like Kurapika and Killua and Gon and Hisoka, they all play like a huge role in it. And Leorio was still there as well and we haven't seen much of him at all in the series and I'm kind of missing some development for him. But apparently that's gonna be there later, so kind of looking forward to that. And yeah, let's start with how this part started. So it was with the king being born too early and finding out his name and seeing that weird little baby thingy in the queen. Yeah, no idea what's going to come out of that, but Colt is taking care of that and he made that promise that he won't attack any humans and all that. So, you know, it's it's good. I always liked Colt from the beginning, always had respect for the guy. And, you know, he had that flashback again from his family and it's always quite sad when you see that, when you know that he kind of remembers how he was before. And they also mention in this arc that their memories don't go away. They always have some memories left of when they were human and all that. So I think that was quite interesting as well. And it just gives the ants some development. Talking about the ants, they all kind of go their own way. Either they just work for Meruem or they just kind of drift away and go on their own and fight other people or they help Killua and Gon, which I was quite surprised about. So we have Ikalgo who is with Killua and then we have Milioron is his name, is with Gon. So I both like those ends. Um, I think they're very interesting. I'm liking the development that we've had so far. And I also like how those two kind of met with Gon and Killua. Although I think for Killua it had way more excitement and, you know, I had more respect for Ikalgo at the end. Because, you know, they went through a lot together and they kind of saved each other. But then for like Gom and Melioron, I don't know. They <laughs> they just kind of agreed to work together. And yeah, that's that. You can definitely see the difference between Gon and Killua there. Killua is kind of like hard to get. But Gon was like, oh yeah, sure. Let's let's just, we, we can just work together. I trust you. Uh, it will be fine. Although we do know that he doesn't trust him 100%, but you know, it kind of, it already looked like that when they were talking to each other and Gon was just really chill about it. But I do like how they kind of developed then and that they showed each other their powers and just gave each other information and that Milioron really trusts Gon, and, but he's the only one he trusts as well. So I'm hoping there won't be any problems for now at the end of this part, like episode 110, they're about to go into the castle, but Milioron is helping them, but he only trusts Gon, so I'm hoping that he will do some good teamwork with the others, because they are with a lot of people working together, so I'm kind of nervous to see how that will turn out, and yeah, no idea so far. I No shit is going to go down, but I'm just hoping that the teamwork will be perfect like they planned it. Although I'm thinking that will not be the case because, you know, there's a lot of risks they are taking and 
yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we have Icalgo and Meliodon. I both like them. For Icalgo, I really like the story with Killua because it was kind of special because he, he was disguised as like a guy and which was funny because he was like singing and all that stuff and just shooting at Killua. Killua just traced him down <laughs> and that was kind of the end of it. He almost killed him. But yeah, I don't know. Killua kind of had like respect for him and then Ikalgo had respect for uh, Killua as well. And yeah, we had friendship. <laughs> Anyways, that's not the only thing that happened with Ikalgo and Killua. I just like that the ortho siblings were there as well and that was very entertaining and I really liked that. It was just very intense and to see how Killua was actually struggling and not knowing what to do and yeah it was just very stressful for me because I was really fearing like what the hell will happen with Killua. He's just there being attacked, he can't do anything and it was kind of complicated as well with the whole darts game and I kind of had a flashback to Dead Parade because of that which you know is always fun but anyways I'm glad how Killua actually figured it out and how you know not only strong but he's also very smart and he proved that in that episode and yeah, that was very impressive to see from Killua, and I'm glad that Ikalgo actually rescued him, uh, although he was at the at the edge of dying. He he almost died. I was really like, oh, how long is this gonna take till he wakes up again and all that? Kind of stressing out about that because we didn't see Killua for a while then, and he didn't pick up his phone when Gon was calling. So you know, everyone was kind of wondering what's up with Killua. But after that, it was kind of. He just woke up and uh, the nurse there was pretty funny as well. That was a funny episode and um, they just met up with Gone again. So it was all good again and I was glad that he was fine. Although he's probably not 100% um, as before, but he should be fine for the whole thing with the palace, I'm thinking. So yeah, looking forward to the next episode really because it's just very exciting of how, how they are going to work together. How will they pull this off and also how will Meduem react because he's just isolated right now and he's kind of like questioning his life and what the purposes of his life and wh why is he there and all that and he had a lot of development in these few episodes because he went from like the bossy boss character who wanted to kill everyone to this guy who actually has emotions and actually likes someone like that girl Komugi she's really special and I really like her how strong she is but the only thing that I don't like is like her snot hanging out the whole time I think that's just gross for some reason I had a kind of flashback to when I was watching Avatar when you know Toph is also blind and she's also very strong I could kind of like compare her to that. I didn't think she would actually be this strong and that she would survive for that long. I actually thought that she would be dead by now but you know Meruem just had this thing like no I shouldn't kill her and then he just that that's kind of it like since that moment he just still wants to defeat her but he kind of has feelings for her as well I'm guessing or it's just sympathy. I, I don't know for sure, but he feels something and he's getting a bit more human. So I'm liking that development and it makes me curious on how this arc will end and what will happen with Meruem himself and also with the royal guards because they, they notice that something is up with Meruem, but they're not quite sure what it is. And then again, they can't do anything about it because he's the boss. He does whatever he wants. They cannot tell him what to do. For the royal guards, um, they've been awesome as well. <laughs> I really like Neferpitu. She's my favorite. I think the other ones don't get too much attention from the royal guards, but Neferpitu does. And she or he, they don't really have a gender at the ends, but I don't know. She's just special and I like her reactions on stuff and just how much she wants to kill and you can really see it in her eyes like she's really dangerous and if Gon and Killua are against her it's gonna be very intense so yeah that's that for the royal guards. We have that whole thing with Palm in these episodes as well. First and for all we have the date with Gon and Palm which I really enjoyed. It was really funny to see her back. I just like her a lot. She's just the funniest girl so far next to Bisky maybe but you know Palm I just like her reactions. I like how 
psycho she is. She's really crazy. <laughs> and I like how she acted t towards Gon when they were on a date. And just how she can kind of change as well. Like how she went into the castle and she really changed her like personality and how she looks. And she can really adjust to what she is supposed to do and I like that about Palm. She's really dedicated to what she has to do and yeah she is in danger right now I'm guessing since Nov already like had that aura from the royal guards and his hair turned white and all that and that was pretty crazy but he still got to get like the exits in the palace but then again we only saw like Palm kind of like running away from the aura but you could see that she was really shocked as well and that's kind of it we didn't see anything more from that and I'm kind of wondering how Palm is doing right now I I don't know I hope for the best because she's a really good character and I'm hoping that she can maybe like help out the others as well if they are in danger or whatever when they are trying to get into the castle so uh, I just want Palm back so I'm really curious to see how she is doing as well. The character that got the most respect from me is Model because he had like two amazing fights in these episodes that I really enjoyed and I just got more development from him and how he is and how he fights. I really like his fighting style, I really like how he kind of tricks the other people with his smoke. It's just very exciting and entertaining to see. So I got a lot of respect for him and I just think he's awesome. So I'm pretty sure he will do good towards like when they go to the castle or palace. And I don't know, I just like him. I think he's a very strong character. He really cares about the others and he would do anything to save the others as well. All right, so that is what I wanted to say about these episodes. I will be back with the live reaction of episode 111 and I will do a short like review after that as well and there will be a lot more live reactions but I'm not gonna promise it's gonna be fast, okay? So it's got just gonna be whenever I have the time, whenever I can record. So yeah, just stay tuned they will be there i'm never gonna drop hendrix hunter so yeah that's sad hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you soon bye